And I just want to be clear to this. We're not talking about, so the fans understand, I can educate the fans a little bit. We're not talking about doing a blood transfusion. We're talking about a teaspoon of blood. Right, right, right. A just teaspoon, of, a a teaspoon blood of blood. And, you know, you have over, I think it's like 360 uh, teaspoons of blood in your body. We're talking about a teaspoon or less when you take this uh, the blood sample. Leonard, isn't there the side of this now with you requesting this and publicly or I'm saying that, you know, the, the, the fight's dead, at least for the time being. Isn't there still a positive if you put it out there and he did not agree that if you went forward with the fight and Mayweather beat him, it even makes Mayweather stronger in the public eye? Almost definitely. Like I said, you know, um, Floyd, see, there's one thing about Floyd, you know, um, Floyd's been dominating ever since he's come out of the Olympics. He became world champion in 1998, and which is we're, we're coming up. It'll be uh, almost 12 years coming up, you know. So there's no there's no secret. Floyd's been on top of his game for quite some time. Floyd is not a fighter who just comes out of the pack and then all of a sudden is this great fighter that's you know come from this smaller weight class that's all of a sudden dominate, dominating top level competition. Floyd's been doing this ever since 19. 19- 96. Is Floyd ducking Pacquiao by requesting the drug testing? Or your well, camp? That, that, that's a ridiculous comment or statement if anybody is out there thinking that because if, why would we be saying this? If, if, if Floyd, quote unquote, would be ducking him, the best way to do it would be to agree to it. We're not asking him to do something that's abnormal. We're just saying subject yourself to random. Olympic style drug testing, both fighters, not Manny Pacquiao, both fighters. So it's not like you're just saying, "Hey, Pacquiao, we want a test done." This is Mayweather and Pacquiao both will go. Uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao the same, both the same the testing, same, the same testing, equally. Any chance of this fight happening without the testing? No way. No, no, no middle ground, no, no way, compromise. No, no, no way. Um, there's no, there's no price tag you can put. When it comes to talking about somebody's career, and and I, I don't play that kind of stuff, you know, um, I don't put a, uh, I I have a fiduciary responsibility to, to, and and I take my responsibility very very seriously. You know, there will be other fights out there uh, for Floyd. Everybody in who's around those weight classes want to fight for. He's the biggest star in sport. He generates the most money of any fighter in the sport, and everybody wants to fight him. And, and but I, I'm of a strong belief. I think that Manny Pacquiao will step up to the plate and agree to this. I'm not so sure that he's even aware, well, he's probably aware now, that his camp had agreed to not to do this. Oh, that Aram, Aram was handling this on his own without talking to Pacquiao. Well, I, I don't know that. I'm, I mean, you know, with Manny Pacquiao being a fighter of his stature, you know, um, who's representing his country, who has a lot of pride, it would be, I would be hard pressed to believe that he wouldn't want to step up to the plate and, and, and do this. Now some of the, some of the ridiculous, uh, excuses that I've heard from his side, uh, have been that he has, um, he, he has a strong belief that he's afraid of needles. Um, but isn't this kind of ironic that he would be afraid of needles, but he has tattoos all over his body? So one of the two don't make sense. Leonard, what will it take for Mayweather to become a true people's champ to get into that Sugar Ray Leonard category? I'm talking in and out of the boxing ring. And you're CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby, joining us here on the Huge Show across Michigan. What will it take for him to have everybody like him and endorsements and mainstream America and kids and everybody look up to Mayweather? What does he need to do? Well, well, it, that's that's a matter of public opinion, you know, because he is. Floyd has a tremendous amount of fans out there um, that who love him and love what he does. And like I said, and it is, it is crossed, he's crossed over into the mainstream world, and and his mainstream popularity has has cashed in at the cash register. He, like I said, he's the highest paid fighter that's out there in the sport, hands down. You know, and um, he's enjoying what he does. Um, he has a, like I said, a tremendous following. He's a he's a great role model for 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 uh, the kids out there, you know, with doing the positive things that he. See, Floyd doesn't get a lot of credit for all the different things that he has done out there 
obviously like a lot of things in the Grand Rapids community, you know, he doesn't get credit for all the philanthropy, the things, that, you know, the, the the small things that, you know, like he's come to Grand Rapids and, and sponsored the whole Golden Gloves um, tournament for all the kids, over 200 kids giving them an opportunity to um, fight in the Golden Gloves tournament. They they wouldn't have the opportunity to do if he didn't do those kind of things. Um, he just does so much. He has a great heart. that He's always giving back. And those are the kind of things that he doesn't get credit for. Leonard Ellerby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, on the current impasse between Mayweather and the Pacquiao cams on the drug testing. Leonard, appreciate the honesty, the opinions, and the updates. Stay in touch, my friend, okay? Okay, most definitely. Thank right. you for having me on. No problem. Leonard Ellerby from Vegas, CEO of Mayweather Promotions, saying without the drug testing, the Pacquiao-Mayweather fight will not happen. I want to hear from the audience. Do you care if Mayweather-Pacquiao happens?